Mick Dizzle Gaming coming at you. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you are doing well today. In today's video, we are going to talk about if Elden Ring is a fun game if you haven't played a Dark Souls game before. I know a lot of people I've talked to are super interested in it, but apprehensive about it. So I wanted to make this video to discuss. Until Elden Ring, I've never played a Dark Souls game or even a Bloodborne game. And to be honest, it never really interested me. But Elden Ring came out, and a lot of people like it, even outside of that normal Dark Souls Bloodborne audience. I mean, it's beautiful, there's a horse-like creature, and there's crazy looking enemies. But it is something totally new and a little uncomfortable if you have not played this series before. And as I started the game, this is how I felt. I'm afraid. So never playing a Dark Souls game, am I enjoying playing Elden Ring? Give me a hell yeah! I am loving it. The world is amazing looking, there's so much to do, but there are a number of things that if you are not used to, you will need to get past if you're truly going to enjoy this game. The first one will be, you will die a lot, and that's okay. At least it's okay for me, but I know for a lot of folks, dying in a video game is a bad, bad thing. I mean, it's pretty unnatural to want to keep getting your ass kicked and keep coming back for more, but like any skill, the more you do it, the better you will get at it, and the better gear you get, the better weapons you get, the better ways you can level your character up, you will lay a whooping. And the trade-off of you getting a whooping a whole lot of the time is when you finally beat that big boss, it is a truly satisfying feeling. You have earned that. So being okay with dying a lot is very important, because the only way you'll discover enemy patterns and get a strategy for defeating certain enemies is by dying. So think of it as progression. What about you? If you've played the game, have you found it hard? Have you found it easy? Let me know in the comments below. The next thing to get past is that it is quite complex and confusing when you start out. The intro tutorial is easy enough, but still a lot of people didn't know to jump down that hole to start it. That's where you learn about the basics with combat and such. It really just gives you the bare bones, however it gives you enough skills to go into the world and beat the simplest of creatures. I know as soon as I finished the tutorial, I decided to livestream my first playthrough. I felt quite confused when I got to the overworld, so big shout out to the chat for helping me through that. Make sure to subscribe with your bell notifications on to know when I'm going to be live streaming Elden Ring. I could probably use your help. If I was just doing that independently in front of my TV, not streaming, not playing with other people, I feel that I would probably have to Google some stuff or spend a lot of time exploring around to figure some things out. Again, the difficulty and challenge is not meant just to be left with the combat, but it's around exploration as well and figuring out what to do next. I would say it took me roughly four hours of playing to be really comfortable with the game and comfortable exploring around with combat, but also knowing I barely scratched the surface and there's still a lot to learn. Of course, everyone's learning curve is going to be different, but that was mine being new to the series. And I'm considering a time well spent due to the satisfaction I am now getting from playing the game. But you gotta put the time in. You can do hard things. I believe in you. We're often used to being handheld through a number of games, and it's not the case with this. The UI is pretty minimal for a good reason, and that reason is the total immersive feel. There's not a whole lot going on in your screen except you, the battle, and the compass at the top. And of course, the absolutely gorgeous world. But if you can take yourself out of the paradigm of being handheld by a game, I can truly see the beauty in the minimalist look of everything. In summary, if you enjoy third-person action-adventure games like myself and you love fantasy settings, there's a really good game here. Probably one of the better ones that's come out in the last few years. But the things that we mentioned are some things that you may need to get past if you're going to enjoy this game. But ultimately, it all depends on what's enjoyable for you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've played Elden Ring in the comments below and if you are enjoying it. And be sure to tune in for my live streams and a variety of games. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next live stream or video.